All right, listen up, guys. We're diving into the dating game in our time, and let me tell you, it's a freaking minefield. You meet a woman, she's all sunshine and rainbows, but sooner or later you realize she's got this checklist, and no matter what you do, it's like you're always falling short. You think you can impress her with compliments, gifts, and all the fancy stuff. But here's the kicker. The more you give, the less she values it. It's like playing poker. And every time you raise the stakes, she's got a higher hand in mind. Yesterday, it was a sweet bouquet. Next month, she wants a floral jungle. And don't even get me started on the modern woman's perpetual discontent. You find what she supposedly needs, and she's still grumbling about something. It's like a never-ending quest for perfection, and let me tell you, fellas, it's exhausting. Starting things up with these women is like signing up for a time-wasting marathon. You'll be left thinking, why did I bother, and convincing yourself they're all cut from the same drama-infested mold. But hey, it's the modern dating circus, and we're all just clowns trying to survive. Stay tuned for the next types of women you'd probably want to avoid. And kicking off this list with a bang is the woman who doesn't know the first thing about taking responsibility. Responsibility, my friends, is not just a buzzword. In the world of grown-up relationships, it's like the foundation of a damn house. Picture this. You start easy, just dipping your toes into the relationship pool. But as you wade deeper, you're facing problems, dealing with life. And yeah, obligations start piling up. And let me tell you, when you throw kids into the mix, responsibilities hit the roof. Now imagine dealing with all that, and your partner can't even spell responsibility. It's like trying to build a house with no foundation. In relationships where the woman is allergic to responsibility, guess who's carrying the load? You got it, the guy. He's grinding at work, and she's, well, let's just say not contributing is an understatement. You roll home after a long day, and what do you find? Chaos, no dinner on the table, constant drama, and a general sense of what the heck is going on. Being with Miss Irresponsible is possible, but let me tell you, it's like playing life on hard mode because all the heavy lifting falls on you. The second type of woman you should be steering clear of is the attention seeker. Now, I'm not talking about a harmless desire for admiration. I'm talking about the kind of woman who thrives on the attention of other men like it's oxygen. And let me tell you, even if she swears she won't cheat, that insatiable thirst for attention can corrode the strongest of relationships. In 90% of cases, mark my words, if she's addicted to the spotlight of other dudes, she might just be one wink away from crossing the line. She'll start by dropping the I have a boyfriend bomb, but soon enough, she'll be sneakily mingling with Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome. A woman addicted to male attention is like a ticking time bomb for any serious relationship. Stay clear, my friends. Now the third type is a financial grenade waiting to explode. Picture this. A woman who treats her man's wallet like it's an all-you-can-spend buffet. Sure, she might have her own cash stash, but she's guarding it like Fort Knox. The real kicker? She'll happily drop your hard-earned money like confetti. Suggest cutting back a bit, and bam, you've unleashed the financial fury. Saving money? Negative, soldier. Mention her stash and you're in for a full-blown scene. The fourth type is what I like to call the compassion vanisher. If she can't muster up a shred of compassion for her nearest and dearest, you can bet your bottom dollar she won't be dishing it out to you or any potential mini-yous in the future. Relationships are built on support, understanding, and yes, a decent dose of compassion. If she's running low on that, you might as well brace yourself for a rocky road ahead. And now, let's move on to type number five, the child disliker. Now, fellas, picture this. You're a guy with dreams of a future full of little feet running around, the whole family package. But hold your horses if the woman you're eyeing shoots kids the evil eye or gives a hard pass to the idea of parenting. This isn't just a red flag. It's a siren blaring wrong direction. If she's not vibing with the idea of tiny tots, pack your bags, my friend, because the family train ain't stopping here. All right, lads, now let's delve into type six of women you'd best steer clear of in the wild world of relationships. I call this one the cyberspace siren, the online overlord, or in simpler terms, the internet addict. Imagine this scenario. 
She's perpetually glued to her phone, snapping pictures left and right, and the only numbers she's interested in are the likes ticking up on her latest selfie. She's a slave to the virtual applause, the online ovation. Now, gentlemen, trying to coexist with someone who treats the virtual world as gospel is not just dull, but downright hazardous. This woman won't live in the real world. She's too busy curating her digital persona. Forget about meaningful conversations. Her language is emojis, filters, and hashtags. And don't even think about competing with her online admirers. They're more real to her than you are. We're navigating through treacherous waters, my friends. Stay vigilant because in this era, some folks are more committed to their screens than to the flesh and blood people right in front of them. Stay wise, stay alert. The online world might just be more crucial to her than you ever will be. Hold tight, mates, because we're diving into the last stretch of this wild ride through the jungle of love. We've got three more types of women that you might want to avoid like a snake in your bed. Let's roll. Now, the seventh type is the pleasure seeker, the one addicted to the dance of the sheets. But here's the twist. Her craving isn't just for one, it's for a whole carnival. Even if she starts faithful, those kinky desires of hers will eventually spread like wildfire. It's like she's got a checklist of fantasies, and the handsomer the man, the more she wants to tick them off. So, gents, if you're aiming for serious commitment, steer clear of the perverted path. I guarantee you it's a slippery slope. Type 8 is the mood maestro, the emotional tightrope walker. If she's got a mood swing repertoire that'd make Shakespeare blush, and you can't predict whether it's Romeo or Hamlet showing up, you're in for a roller coaster. She might get upset at the drop of a hat, and good luck figuring out why. It's like living with a human mood magic eight ball. Shake her up, and who knows what answer you'll get. And lastly, the ninth type, the one who's allergic to learning from her mistakes. Relationships, my friends, are like navigating a maze. You both make wrong turns but it's about learning and growing. If she's stuck in a loop of blame games without an ounce of self-reflection, you're in for a bumpy ride. She'll always find someone to point fingers at, and it won't be pretty. So buckle up, fellas. Navigating the relationship jungle requires a good map, and knowing these types might just save you from some wild pitfalls. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, stay sharp, stay smart.